It's the seventh annual original on cinema Oscar special with special guests Tony Newman, Matt Newman, Michael Matthews, Greg Turkington, Joe Estevez, and many more. Sponsored by Food Man Dream Catering. And now, your host, Tim Heidecker. I've got the Oscar fever. Hope you got it too. Oh, I miss some bubble and now it's all you got it too. It's Christmas for Tinseltown, the Academy Awards. Sit right down, enjoy the show. Welcome aboard. Well, who's gonna win? Uh, who's gonna lose? I got the Oscar fever and I hope you got it too. Let's go! The Oscar fever, hope you got it too. Pour me some bubbly, now it's all you gotta do. It's Christmas for town, so town, the Academy Awards. Sit right back, pop some popcorn, come on aboard. Who's gonna win? Who's gonna lose? I got that Oscar fever, now I hope you got it too. All right, thank you very much. Let's hear it for the Heidecker String Quartet. Uh, thank you, wonderful, beautiful music. Welcome, everyone, to the seventh annual On Cinema Oscar special. I'm your host, Tim Heidecker. We are back. Obviously, last year, we were under attack. Uh, our, the Oscar value, the Oscar, uh, the whole vision of the On Cinema Oscar special was under attack from the Delgados and Raffi Taffy and Greg Turkington and the Vipers that have surrounded me for years try to take advantage of me. Uh, but we have reclaimed, it's been a long year, but we have done everything uh, we needed to do to bring things back to the way they should be. High Inc. is stronger than it's ever before. We're now in collaboration with uh, Newman Strategies Corporation, uh, my beautiful wife, Tony Newman, making tonight possible. We are so excited to be back. It is Oscar fever night. It is the greatest night of the year for me. It is, an, it is a night that we honor and salute our fellow filmmakers. Uh, and we're just going to have a fun night tonight. Tonight, uh, you know, last year was such a mess. Everything was adrift. Like I said, you had Laffy Taffy uh, and the rest of the bunch screwing up. They had no focus. They had no energy. It was one of the, we were hearing about droves and droves of people tuning out. And of course, I came back and took over. And I'm, but now we have created a, con a continuity to the special this year that I couldn't be more proud of. Everybody's worked their asses off to get us to where we are right now. Uh, we are, you know, we're, we're discussing a few uh, weeks ago about the vision of the Oscar special. And one of the things that kept coming up in my mind because I had just gone through this really uh, beautiful emotional experience with my uh, wife, Tony Newman. And I was looking at all the nominees, and I thought, uh, well, we have one of the great movies of the year, Marriage Story. Uh, it reminded me of the, the hundreds of wonderful films out there through the years that have celebrated the union of a man and a woman, and a man and a woman only, uh, through marriage. So we are celebrating the institution, the sacrament of marriage tonight with films like uh, Father of the Bride, and Four Weddings and a Funeral, and so many others. So we are here, we're gonna be doing so much, we'll be talking about who's gonna win, who's gonna lose, we're gonna be popping popcorn, but we're also reminding uh, the audience of the great tradition, and it is almost the, we always look at Oscar as a, uh, it is a ceremony, it is a sacrament, it is when people like Brad Pitt and Bradley Cooper and Jack Nicholson, whoever, actually do perform sort of a wedding with Oscar, with Oscar Gold. And it was, so we're, we're just saluting that. Uh, that's why we see, you know, we beautiful flowers. Uh, and that's the choice we made. Uh, we could have gone a lot of different directions, but we went uh, with this beautiful theme. And we were sort of, uh, we, had, we had to make choices sort of at the last minute. Um, okay. Let's get the show going. We got a um, our first guest 
is a uh, has been on the show before, and we're going to get through his segment as quick as we can. Uh, I just want to run uh, r run him in and out because we have so much to get to tonight. It's going to be a busy night. Uh, check in with us uh, throughout the night. We're going to be giving you updates on all the awards. I'm not, I haven't gotten any ideas as the uh, there's no host for the Oscars. I don't know why anybody's watching the Oscars. There's no Billy Crystal like there always was. We did something like 20 years in a row. I think Whoopi did a few years, but there's no host. It's basically it's a, a shit show uh, down in Hollywood. This is the real show. We're going to be giving you the same information that they're giving you. So just forget watching the Oscars on uh, ABC or wherever it is. Watch here all night long because we're going to be giving you all the news you need. Let's bring my first guest. He's going to come in quickly uh, from the Victorville Film Archive. He's uh, uh, is he going to come from here? All right. Do I need this mic anymore? Greg Turkington. I don't. All right, turn that, cut the horn. Yeah, turn turn the horn off. Hey guys, there he is. We'll stay there for a sec. What is this now with the mobile VFA uh, big entrance? Um, the mobile VFA has arrived. It's movie time. And what is the? You've got Arthur on the top there. What, what's going on with your mobile VFA? And you're dressed like uh, the jokester from hey guys. the Batman movies. We are celebrating, well, we are giving a preview of next year's celebration of the 40th anniversary of Arthur. Wait, say that again? You're we're doing what? A, we're doing a preview of next year's uh, 40th anniversary of Arthur. So we're giving a sneak preview of what's going to happen. Next the, year. What's why? What does that have to do? This with is the a Joker? Jack Nicholson Joker, which is the, he was the original actor to play the Joker. Okay, so, so I, I told you you could come in here with one concept, and then we're going to get through that, and then you'll be on your way. And now you're coming in with two. So is it is? Do you want to focus on whatever this 40th anniversary of? Actually, I have of, three. Actually, I have four. Well, the, well those we're not getting to those. Actually, I have five. We're if not you getting count to the those. finale that what, I have excuse planned. Excuse me. What? Is why what does Arthur have to do with the Academy Awards right now? I'm a little, I'm well, it's really one of the most up. beloved movies in history. Arthur from 1981, 97 minutes, starring Dudley Moore. And so we're doing a preview next year. We're actually on this special. It might be our cinema by next year. I'm not sure, but next year we're going to do the 40th anniversary of Arthur, which came out in 1981. Okay, so so this year is a sneak preview of next year's uh, Arthur, basically. Celebration. So you're not you don't have any uh, anniversary movie to discuss. We're doing today. Arthur. We're doing a preview of Arthur for next year. No, you're not doing. We're not going to do Arthur two years in a row. This for me is your. Well, there's two your, Arthur. Well, there's actually three Arthur movies because I know. Was a, Here's what I'm saying. If you want to celebrate a movie like you did with Jaws two, which was a big mess. Well, because you, you didn't use. Hold on. You, you used a prop me. for Mark, so he didn't. Don't get, get any don't, oxygen. don't go down that route. Choose a film that it is an anniversary of. Don't use this opportunity to sneak peek, preview some bullshit about Arthur. Nobody that, gives a shit about Arthur to begin with. Well, if you're going to spend time true. on that. It's Oprah Winfrey's favorite movie of all time, Arthur. I don't so. give a shit. I, I'm, what I'm trying to point out is it's absurd to spend any time previewing an anniversary of something. Have you, you ever heard of a trailer? What, what do you 40, think previews are? What movie came out 40 years ago? People line well, up to on. see previews what movie for Star Wars what movie movies came out or for, Hobbit movies. What movie People came out 40 years ago? You should know this. Trailer. If you don't know this, I'm going to ask you to leave. What movie came out 40 years ago this year? Name one. You must know. 
19 ordinary people directed well, why by we celebrating Butch Cassidy that? You and Sundance I mean? Kid, Robert Redford. Why didn't we do a preview Because that's a that glum movie. That's a depressing right. movie. It's about a suicide. Right. Do you want to Arthur talk? is a positive movie with a good message, and it stars one of my all-time favorites, Dudley Moore. Great. So, okay, you'll have five minutes to talk about Arthur as a preview, whatever. That's We're not fine. Be... I would love five minutes to talk about it without interruption. We're not going to talk about it next Five minutes but would I, be great. I would one... love five minutes without you interrupting, with you leaving the building, so that I can preview next year's Arthur 40th anniversary. Let me explain something to you. There's no preview of Arthur. There is only Arthur today. That's your five minutes. Say goodbye. You don't understand how movies work. Arthur you don't understand next, how movies work. We're not talking work. about Arthur next Trailers year. Trailers are a big part you're of not gonna Hollywood be welcome, history. Shut up. You're not going to be welcome back here next year if that means talking about Arthur again. <laughs> you're playing all your Arthur cards now. You get that? Well, I'll talk about Arthur 2, Love on the Rocks, next year then, if you're going to do that. But we have some Arthur 2 right. memorabilia I'm here as well. This. I brought I, you here I to am talk traveling with the world's first portable Arthur Museum and it's part of the VFA, the mobile VFA, right. is we travel with exhibits around the country and let people see priceless movie this memorabilia that they might not have this access to Do you otherwise. want to talk about the movies that were nominated? Or I would we... love to. Okay, so we've got a lot of great movies this year. Obviously, we could speak, uh, I think, obviously your pick is The Joker no. tonight. No, my pick is, well, essentially my pick is Kramer versus Kramer 2, which Hollywood has gone and remade as Marriage Story, but the genesis of that movie was in something I wrote and that we premiered right here. We shot it right over there last year, which is Kramer versus Kramer 2. And of course, Hollywood can't keep their grubby paws off of what we do, as you know, <clears throat> with some of these ripoffs okay. of Decker. So, you're, you're so saying... Marriage Story is essentially Hollywood tipping their hat to what I did with Kramer versus Kramer 2 and remaking it. And I'm not getting any credit for it, but I'll tell you one thing, when that movie wins Best Picture, a part of me is gonna feel that I won Best Picture for Kramer versus Kramer 2. So my pick is definitely a uh, marriage story, and I also have a tip from my insider at the Academy that it will in fact win, because the ballots have already been counted, and I had a guy who texted me after they did count okay. them and told me marriage story is the winner. So. Okay, so there's other movies to be considered. Obviously, Joker was a big movie. Um, Something like, we look at something like Jojo Rabbit, if that were to win, that would be one of the first animated films to be, uh, to win. I mean, it's one of the first animated films, I guess, since maybe... Uh, Fantasia. But Fantasia it's not even the, it's not the first movie to be called Jojo something. There was Jojo Dancer, Your Life is Calling with Richard Pryor from 1981. It's actually the second Jojo movie. Right. Uh, there's a bunch of different movies. You don't see... One of the snubs this year was the Star Wars movies didn't get sort of acknowledged. There was a couple of Star Wars movies that came out this year. You were hoping maybe a few of them were going to get the nod, at least one. So it turns out none, none of them got awards. It just shows that the system is fair and that a billionaire like George Lucas can't come in mm -hmm. and say, I want the Oscar and get the Oscar. You have to earn it through merit. And that's one of the things I've always admired about the Oscars. It's going to be sort of an interesting battle between uh, Waquam, Wequam, uh, Walk Equum Phillips, is that his name? I <laughs> can't remember. What, uh, Joaquin Phoenix. There you go. And from the Fast and Furious, uh, Adam Dr uh, Adam Driver. The real battle, I think, is between the Joker's past and the Joker's present. And I think that Jack Nicholson as the Joker, the original Joker in the original Joker movie, is sort of the Joker everybody remembers and loves. And I think it was a mistake to try and make that again when Nicholson was still alive. If he mm. passed away, I get it. If you're doing Casablanca 2, you can't get Bogart. If you're doing The Joker 2, you can get Jack Nicholson, and they should have, and that was their mistake, and that's why I'm not uh, so voting do you look for at, Joaquin Phoenix. Do you look at The Joker as a, um, a sequel or a remake of the original Joker with I Jack Nicholson? I think it's Nicholson. both. Yeah. yeah, well, there's a lot of, lot of intrigue, a lot of drama. What are your thoughts on Once Upon a Time in Hollywood? Uh, sort of misleading. I, misleading. Yeah, I was, I was thinking. If you're going to do a Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, I want to see some uh, the great stars like the the Cary Grants, the Clark Gables, the Charlie Chaplin, a sort of a trip down memory lane. And instead, it was uh, you know a bunch of people, a bunch of no names. Bruce Lee was in it, which was cool, but I would rather see some more golden era stars. And then finally, we have you know the uh, the salute to the Munchkins and and uh, the Wizard of Oz with Little Women. You're thinking of Judy, which I don't think got nominated, but it should have because that was a great look at Judy Garland as she would have been had she had lived. And then now they're trying to do this thing that's kind of interesting is they're trying to 
um, almost it, the name is perfect parasite because they are trying to uh, inf infect uh, American the American Oscars, which they are the American Oscars. That's the official name of the Academy Awards, the American Oscars of the Academy Awards. They're trying to infect our country, our values, with foreign films, Chinese films like uh, Parasite, which it is parasitic to do that. Um, I haven't seen it, but you know, it's a shame that certain movies like Star Wars, George Lucas, gets blocked out, gets sort of, get, get, gets sort of sidelined. A lot of Star Wars it, movies were filmed in other countries, though. Well, it doesn't matter. I'm talking about George Lucas, born and raised in California, an American citizen, is now basically sidelined, kicked to the curb, because of we see now the Chinese influence over our, basically all aspects of life. And now we see my theories of the China connection actually sort of coming full circle, where they now are infecting us with Chinese connection starring disease. Bruce Lee is a great movie from 1971. Yeah, so a, a lot of a lot of sort of uh, forecasting and sort of vision visionary work that I did um, when I was on the trial of my uh, the trial of the century they say, but also my the trial of my life, which I was vindicated completely and acquitted totally. Um, so. You see that. We have the, the China connection is coming full board. Not only are they, are they poisoning our award system, but they are now infecting us with their with the uh, um, the disease that's spreading vastly. And we're looking at the disease right now, and we find that it's now spreading rapidly tonight. So we'll be giving you more updates on that disease. Um, we just, speaking of updates, we want to talk briefly about uh, your quest for finding an old friend of ours who's been um, in the wilderness. Um, I've been devoting a lot of time to it, actually. It's been my number one uh, mission for the past couple of months is finding Mark because, let's face it, these WC Fields uh, routines aren't going to do themselves. You need yeah. Mark there to make them come alive, and I have not been able to find him. I've put a lot of effort into it nightly. I haven't seen you out there, but well, I've been out there every night and every day looking for about Mark, that. and <clears throat> he is very elusive. And we have a reward set up, which is $100, and I've thrown in another $50 in BFA Classics uh, merchandise, like a voucher, okay. gift card or whatever, for any of the uh, BFA Classics titles that you would want. All right. As the cash is yours to spend on what you want with, the $50 goes towards the BFA. Let me just interrupt. I, I'm going to uh, surprise you a little bit here. I'd love to see, you know, you've got this stupid grin on your face. Uh, but it's going to be a shock. Nothing but, stupid yeah. about Jack Nicholson. He's won no. the Best Actor award two or three times, including one flew over the cuckoo's nest. So I wouldn't call, I wouldn't no, call Mr. Listen, Nicholson stupid. Very, you very say I've smart done nothing, man. You've say I've done nothing in the quest for Mark. What I'm here to announce, ladies and gentlemen, is for the past several months, uh, I've teased this a few months ago, uh, a huge project that High Inc. has been. Uh, really working really hard on, which is a new program called Expose, starring LaRue, uh, otherwise known as, well, starring Michael Matthews, otherwise known as LaRue from Decker, um, my private investigator, basically my right-hand man. Uh, and we've been basically uh, investigating everything under the sun, and we've gotten back down to the, the, the roots of a lot of the problems driving, uh, that, that are infecting our society. But you should investigate who killed those 19 kids at shut the uh, I, festival. We'll ask you to leave. I'll take your car and you'll drive it home. Or wherever I don't know. That might be your home. We don't know. In fact, you might just be pulling that around the corner and pulling nice off the home side to of the have. road. That's something we'll, we'll expose at a later date. But what's happening right now in real time is as a kind of a promotional way to launch Exposed, which is going to be premiering. Uh, over the summer on basically all the networks, depending, we're sort of choosing which network it's premiering on, but uh, we're going to be uh, launching the first real search for Mark Roach in existence, in history, really. And uh, I've, I've tasked LaRue with finding Mark. And finally now, we will see, and we're just getting word that Brad Pitt has won for, I guess, Meet one of the Joe movies Black. he was in. Did you see Meet Joe Black? No, he won for the movie that he was in this year, the the, uh, the Hollywood story. Um, you interrupted my thought. Tonight, I have tasked, LaRue is out there, and he has vowed, 
to bring Mark home. And he's going to bring him back. And, and he's put all his resources. He's, a, he's like a uh, bloodhound or something. He's one of the great investigators and sleuths since Sherlock Holmes himself. Holmes and Watson. You will see, you will see something stunning tonight, the return of Mark Proch safe and sound. Here's a sneak peek at Exposed. This is becoming to ABC and CBS and NBC uh, this fall. Hi everybody, Tim Heidecker here, the host and executive producer of Exposed, our new investigative journalist series that investigates crimes and all sorts of uh, things like Medicaid fraud and other uh, devious activities out there in the world. We are looking today at predatory loan uh, companies, predatory loan companies, and these are companies that uh, present this almost fairy tale, too good to be true, uh, financial uh, option for people, loans and, f and other financial services, and then they pull the rug out from under people. They offer them 0% interest and all sorts of uh, bells and whistles, and in the end, all, they do, all they're trying to do is make a quick buck, and they don't care about the, the working guys. And, it's a, it's a shame what these people are doing out there. But listen, our team of investigators has found the business address for Money Zap. So on today's program, I'm going to go confront the employees of Money Zap and ask them how they sleep at night. How do they live with ripping people off left and right and making promises that they can't keep? Let's get to it. Let's expose it. Let's get to expose. Let's expose. Hi, we're at the Central, Central Stalker Square. This is the official headquarters of MoneyZap.com. I don't see MoneyZap listed here. We're going to investigate these companies. Just trying to try to get some answers. I'm just going to go in and ask. Hello? Hi. Hi. I'm trying to find some information on a company called MoneyZap. They have their address listed here. This is their headquarters. Must be a mailbox. Because there's they're like a money lending company that owes me a lot, and they're not being responsive. I've tried tried to go after them. Tried I called their number and their address is listed here. So um, they must have a mailbox here, but I, that name doesn't even ring a bell. I want to just find out because they owe me. They, they, yeah, you have to write to them or whatever. I did. I, well, that's why we're here. Is to try to get. Do you, can you put me in touch with Money Zap I, CEO? I can do that. I just okay. ran mailboxes. And I understand. But, yeah. All right. Thank you. Right. All right. So that's a sneak peek at. A really exciting show that me and LaRue are working on. Uh, LaRue cannot help, LaRue cannot find Mark on his own. He needs your help out there. I know you guys are busy, you're watching the Oscar special, you're having fun, maybe you're together watching it with your best friends, but we have set up a hotline. If you're in the greater Los Angeles area, call 323-312-9121. We'll put that number on the screen. You can call from ever, anywhere. And I mean, if you find Mark in uh, Orange County, by all means, call from there. We're looking for any leads. Uh, so call that number if you've got any leads on Mark. But I'm not I too worried. I scoured Long Beach, so that's, but that's border of Orange have County. Back. So the key is let's all work together to find Mark tonight. Uh, LaRue needs your help. He's out there working his ass off. Well, um, I, don't, I don't think he's the man for the job, but. Anyway. We will get Mark home safe and sound. I'm confident about that. It is an exciting night. Stay with us. We're going to. We're going to take our first break, and we will be back with much more Oscar coverage. 
Thanks to the Joker for being here. And uh, the Nicholson Joker. Yeah. Not the new one. And thanks to the Heidegger Quartet for playing music. Play something, get us out of here. stuff that's Oscar fever by Tim Heidecker played by the Heidecker quartet uh, we are back we got some amazing uh, Oscar news for you for you cartoon freaks Jojo Rabbit did not win for best animated film but it's still nominated for best animated uh, best picture uh, Toy Story 4 won guess best at Academy Award for best cartoon uh, starring Tom Hanks and, and Tim Al Tim Ro uh, Tim Allen I think the Toy Story, wherever they make that, that building is going to be filled with Oscars. And 40 years from now, they'll have 44 Oscars. All right. Um, what we are going to uh, check in now with you and your VFA. This is your opportunity to tell us about your VFA mobile and Arthur and all the, the rest. So, This is the mobile VFA. And it's coming soon to your town. We are gonna take this around pretty much to every town that we can get it to. Probably not Alaska or Hawaii, but. So if, it, if you just turn the car off though, so. Yeah. So this is the noise. interior of the mobile VFA. I have, as you see here, uh, the ability to monitor the Oscar situation. This is a feed direct from the Academy uh, with any sort of updates as to what's happening on the Oscar telecast. This is sort of my nerve center control center. And then, of course, we have much of the archive in the back there so that when we get to people's towns, we can show them actual tapes from the VFA. Anything we have back here, we have in triplicate back at the main VFA. What about Arthur, though? We Get to Arthur quick. Yeah, and I'm just going to show them the rest of the interior of the mobile VFA. So it's basically a, a good regular car, but decked out in a way that uh, anyone would like to have. We've got the searchlights and the spotlights. And if you saw the top of the car, you can see that it pays tribute to next year's 40th anniversary of Arthur. And this is our traveling Arthur Museum. This is the world's first Arthur Museum, but not the last because next year I suspect others will spring up. This was the original and this is the best. By next year, we'll have quite a few more items in the museum. You see the original one sheet posters to Arthur starring Dudley Moore and Liza Minnelli and Arthur II, same cast. John Gielgud also appeared in both Arthur movies, piece of trivia. This is probably the rarest item in our Arthur Museum. This is an original Arthur II on the rocks promotional uh, tumbler, which is what they call a drink, a, a glass that Arthur might drink out of. If you look at the Arthur video disc and the videotapes, you'll see he always has a drink in his hand in every scene. So. The good folks Hang at on, Warner got Brothers a, decided we to got make a, a hotline promotional number. Cut. We got somebody calling in with information Hold on. on Mark. Hold on. We'll get to that. This is the soundtrack Hello. to Arthur. This is the uh, soundtrack Hello. album Arthur's Theme by Christopher Cross. Everybody yes, you have information on Mark Proach. Yes. Uh, I, I, there's someone I've seen walking around. It could be Mark. could be maybe All right. not. I don't know. Okay. We're not worried about him what right is now. He, uh, where are you? I'm, I'm by the Hollywood uh, Forever uh, Graveyard. Okay. Um, Hang up. It's just a prank. A bald, bald guy walking around, very confused looking. Tried to approach him and just, it's, he's running away. Okay. Well, listen, stay put. I'm going to send uh, LaRue your way. You're at the Hollywood Forever Cemetery. Sounds good. Yes. Thanks, I thanks for the tip. Thank you for okay. interrupting my show. All right. What was that? Thank you. Goodbye. All right. All right. We also have here, these have not been touched by human hands. These are sealed copies of both of the Arthur movies. So if you have an old used VHS tape, as you know, the technology dictates that the tapes will last for years, perfect quality. 
But if you have one that's still sealed, that's never been played, never even been touched by human hands, you've got a real keepsake, a real rarity, and something that's a museum piece. And that's why these two sealed tapes are in our museum. And then over here, this is really something special. This is a promotional belt buckle from 10, which was the movie that Dudley Moore made before Arthur, co-starring Bo Derrick. And this promotional uh, belt buckle uh, was issued to promote the movie back in 1979. That's an anniversary that we should have what done. What is a, belt, a 10 belt buckle doing in an Arthur museum? 10 was question. Dudley's breakthrough that's movie. That's a fair question, right? 10 oh. was his breakthrough movie. They had originally cast George Siegel in the role of Arthur. Then 10 came out, broke all box office records at the time. It was the Stand biggest by. We movie got a message coming of all in. time. And so Mark, they recast it with. Me. Wait, There's they recast text. it with Dudley Moore instead of you George Siegel. You care about Siegel, Mark Broach or not? And you can all trace that back to It seems to like you 10. got a lot more concerned about Dudley Moore, who's confirmed had been, has, has been dead for 20 years, than you do about a guy that might be in real trouble here. This, this guy says Mark was sighted in Portland, Oregon, two days ago uh, at the Variety Shop surveillance footage from the Taco Bell and Burger King restaurants across the street confirmed this. So we're getting some more info on Anybody that. can call that number and prank the number. I don't know why you would even listen to these people. Let's I've done this. the searching and he's not out there. So let's not talk to those people. Anyway, this 10 belt buckle, how many folks watching have seen 10 Arthur or Arthur 2? That's a Dudley Moore Sorry, Film Festival and that's a good time. So that's our Arthur preview. Next year on this special, we will have probably three times as many rare promotional items, including an original. Okay, sorry to interrupt again. Wait, wait, I have somebody calling in saying, script. I see Mark. We found him. Let's try to get him on uh, the line here. These are, I'm not sure how to tell the difference. Call me. I'll say, call me. Okay. What was that? We are going to have next year, when we actually do the 40th anniversary, an original shooting script signed by John Gilgood and Liza Minnelli. So that is something you'll be seeing next year. Okay. But this is a nice little preview and to whet your appetite. And if you haven't seen Arthur, be sure you see it before next year's Oscars because you're going to want to uh, be on top of what's going on in the film. It's a little confusing, everybody. If you're texting me, it's a little harder. I need you to call. Uh, and I don't know how to work this phone because it's an Android. Um, and it's a mess. Uh, who else won? Anybody win Best Picture? We have an animated film called... Animated short called Hair Love. Did you see Hair Love? It's a cartoon, short cartoon. No, it's not a movie. Okay. Looks like Once Upon a Time in Hollywood won for Best Picture. All right, listen, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we are getting your tips uh, by the second here. Um, we have a very special uh, show coming your way. Stick with us. We have a very, very important guest coming up. Um, I'm getting a little emotional because um, knowing she's here, knowing that she's going to be with me, I feel a little lost. I feel a little, you know, you can tell I feel a little lost. Liza Minnelli? Um, no. This is, uh, my wife is uh, going to stop in and check in. I love hearing what she has to say about movies. She knows more about movies than anybody. Um, and she's got a lot to do with tonight because she's, made a lot of this possible. Um, call in if you have any tips on Mark. We'll be back uh, in a minute with more Oscars, the seventh annual Oscar specials. Give me something peppy, not that depressing classical shit. Play some, uh, sorry, you're listening? Play, uh, up goes the weasel. It's about Greg. Not Pop Goes the Weasel. They don't know Pop Goes the Weasel. It's the first thing they teach you at music school. Up, da, 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 da.
I asked them to break to do something peppy, and they all they got is classical music. But anyways, it's a big learn improvement pop over goes the, car. the weasel. If you learn that, that's the foundational music. You could also do three blind mice, three blind mice with a pep in its step. Dee dee dee. Uh, or Oscar famous music. Da 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 what movie is that? There you go. Learn it. Welcome back, everybody. The seventh annual Oscar, uh, On Cinema Oscar special is just heating up. And we're having a lot of fun talking about all the great winners. Parasite has uh, got its grasps, grasps on uh, the Academy and has infected the uh, all the... Uh, the voters, apparently, because it is one best screenplay. Uh, Pretty cool. And, and uh, Jojo Rabbit, first animated film to win adapted screenplay. Um, congratulations to all the the illustrators uh, of that movie and the voices. A lot of voice talent there. Um, we are going to have a special guest now. I've teased this. Um, and she is my love, my life, the reason I think I'm still here today. Um, she has changed, she's given me a 180 uh, from where I was maybe less than a year ago. She's changed it all. She's financially, spiritually, emotionally, uh, sexually just um, refreshed my body and soul and mind and heart. Um, I will invite her to the stage now, my wife, my life. Miss Tony, Mrs. Tony Newman. We have not decided to change her name. It's in Heidegger. Yes, thank you. Hi, Sweetheart, sweet. how are you? Mwah. Thank you so much. Can you, would you uh, scurry off to your car, sit in your car for a little while, okay? Sure. How are you? Mwah. Mwah. Take a seat. Thank you. Uh, I know you were busy today, busy yeah. as hell arranging for all this. Um, you know, you just heard what I said about you. It's, it's all coming from the heart. Um, but we are here to talk about movies, way? so let's just, <laughs> yeah. um, what was your favorite movie of the year? Did you have Oh, one? I so loved many. Parasite. Okay. I loved The Joker. Okay. I loved the violence yeah. of The Joker. Yeah. That was great, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah, well, yeah, it was different. Um, you know, a lot of these movies are, you know, I, I was sort of a, upset, like I said earlier, that Star Wars didn't get nod. We saw yeah. Star Wars together. Yes, we did. That was so, so Um I have a little bit of a surprise for you. And Another? I'm a little nervous. <laughs> I'm a little nervous because it's a big surprise. You don't have to be nervous. I know, I know. <laughs> but we, um, you know, had a crazy year. Yes. We ran Whirlwind. for district attorney. <laughs> yeah. We were... We were partners in in, uh, in a business sense. We were, you know, uh, like locked together, and you know, we had a fought hard, fought like hell, and you know, it didn't go our way. But that experience got us so close together. It got us, uh, you know, to where we are today. And you know, the one regret I have is the way that things happened so quickly um, because of the you know, the situation with High and the Delgados and everything, we had to make some very quick decisions. Yes. And I'm very grateful we did, but, um, boy, how do I do this? Um, what, just spit it out? No, I will, what? I just, <laughs> what? so, bad news is. Uh-oh. Um, no, it's okay, bad news is, I did something the other day. Um, I went down to the courthouse and I filed papers, um, they're right here, and this is a annulment of our, uh, of our marriage. What? This is, this, just calm down, this is an annulment of our wedding, uh, our marriage, because, and here's what, the good news. Um, I'm so nervous. I, um, I didn't feel that, that it was appropriate the way we got married. We rushed things, we went down to City Hall, and it was not a spiritual wedding. It was not a Christian wedding. And so what we're going to do, I need you to sign these. I, what we're going to do is we're going to have a real wedding uh, with all the bells and whistles right here, right now. 
That's it. That's the news. That's, will you, and I'll do it the right way. I'll do everything by the book. After we sign this, we have to do this first, because otherwise it doesn't make any sense. Um, wait, Tim. Just, uh, it's okay. What? Uh, Where the hell are you going? All right, just sign this, and then I can do it. Just sign it, and we'll talk about it. Sign this. I'm signing my this divorce. Is the, just, it's an annulment. It's not a divorce. There's no financial implications on it. Sign right here. Trust me. You're scaring me. No, no, it's good. And I signed it, and we are good. And now we can do the good stuff, the good news. Get ready for some beautiful music. <laughs> Miss Tony Newman. <laughs> <laughs> Will you marry me tonight? I've got everything planned. I got uh, your family's here, your parents are here. Matt's coming, Matt, your son, Matt, Ooh. is here. What? And I've got a dress, and I've got everything. We're gonna have a beautiful wedding. Will you say, will you do it? Will you say yes? Just, just, just. Yes. All right. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're having the first on cinema Oscar special wedding in history. I don't know what Greg Turkey you with. We're gonna file this down so it's official. This is real. We are going to get married. You're all invited. Forget the movies, this is life. We are gonna be just like them, happy. So you, I've got makeup, I got some makeup people here, I got a dress, everything. We got food catered, I think we have salmon and green beans and a wedding cake. And uh, uh, our pastor, uh, Lewis, is here as well. My pastor? Yeah, she has come down and she is gonna be officiating. So we have got a lot of work to do, folks. The night's just getting started. You're all invited to the wedding of Tony and Tam. We'll be right back. I think it's, it's going to be awesome. What the fuck, Tim? No, Are you, so... Why did you tell me about this? Because I wanted to be a surprise. I, you can't, uh, on national TV? I'm just, this you, is... I'm totally embarrassed about this. We should have done this private. We should talk about it back here, because uh, I think it's actually a great idea. Did you turn... I'll explain why. Here. What? I'll explain why. Who's there? Uh, my name is Oscar. After the Oscar, ceremony. just like uh, the Academy Awards. What do you want? Yeah. You, you have Mark information on Mark? I can report to LaRue? Yeah, he's at the Hollywood Wax Museum, and he's right in between the corner of Hollywood and Highland. Oh, thank uh, you. He's eating a sandwich. He's, uh, he's dressed as a policeman. He's putting on a weird British accent, and he just looks very confused. Okay, thank you for the tip. We'll, we'll investigate that. I'll send LaRue over there. Uh, we are back, getting calls. We're, we're going to find Mark. I believe that. Uh, obviously, big, big news here. The wedding of the century uh, will be occurring in minutes. We have Tony Newman, uh, my bride-to-be, uh, getting ready, getting her uh, makeup on and everything, and getting the beautiful dress that I picked out uh, from David's Bridals. want to give them a shout-out. Scott was able to stop by there this afternoon. Um, we have uh, Greg Turkington stormed off the set. He has returned uh, and is, is moping in his car. So we're, he's got something, he's got an update. I'm watching the Oscars, actually, which is what you should be doing. What? I'm watching the Oscars. I can't hear you. Which, the, the, your motor's revving. I'm watching the Oscars, which is what you should be doing. OK. What do you have news? Do you have news? Uh, they're doing the best documentary right now. So. OK. Not really a movie. You have something about the Joker you want to talk about? I don't know. Yeah, as you know, uh, people tune into this show not for garbage like Dakar and stuff like that, but for actual movie expertise segments. And so we've got quite a few of them tonight planned. Um, this one is very special. It's a look back at the Jokers through the years, starting with, of course, the original 
uh, actor to play the Joker was Jack Nicholson and going right through the current one, uh, Joaquin Phoenix. So this is a tribute to the Joker. Oh, there must be bats in your belfry, Batman. <laughs> Comedy is subjective, Murray. Isn't that what they say? All of you decide what's funny or not. <laughs> Jack is dead, my friend. You can call me Joker. 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 <laughs> if we can't do business, why? We'll just shake hands. That'll be it. Yeah? Yeah. Thank you for that look back at the, one of the great movie villains, Joker. <clears throat> uh, we got Little Women winning Best Picture, or Best Designing, Best Designing Women. Designing Women's a De Delta Burke. That's Designing, co Costume Design for Little Women. Good for them. Pretty good costumes. Yeah. All right. Um, Period pieces. We're going to do a segment now. It's near and dear to my heart because this is my, <coughs> really my wedding day. Um, a lot of family and friends are in town for it. I want to bring out uh, a, a guy I've gotten to know really well in the past few months, uh, my stepson, Matt Newman. We're going to do a father-son movie review segment now. Uh, Matt sort of represents the youth. That's your cue, buddy. What's up, dude? Good to see you, man. How you doing? Good, man. All right, man. So Matt and I, we've just gotten to know each other. We've been like kind of bonding and uh, broing out, whatever. You know, it's been a couple months we got to know each other. Um, we watch a lot of TV. We watch a lot of like bullshit HD, T, H, home and garden TV shit, like fixing uppers and shit like that. Um, 
what's your like vibe on movies now? Like, what's your vibe on like the like are the movies that you're into the same movies that they award fucking Academy Awards like at the Oscars and that bullshit? Is that your is that where you're kind of sinking up on? What's the deal? Sure. Uh, they're all right. I see you always on video games, playing them and everything. But you, you so you like you think mid, video games are kind of the future. You were saying to me about instead of movies and bullshit wasting, you know, going to see fucking Fast and Furious when you could play those fucking games. Yeah, movies are kind of pointless. You just sit there and watch other people do stuff. Why not be able to play? So what are games that you're that psych you out that get you fucking ripped that get you? Call all, of Duty sick. Call of Duty. Yeah, killing people. Just playing like with first person shooter. Playing with friends. Yeah, tournaments. Yeah. What Fortnite. about Fortnite? You're Fortnite's into that. Cool. You're talking to me about that. You were playing that shit for like hours the other night, dude. Played all night with my buddies. So how do you get into that? Do you have to practice? Do you have to like hook up with homies that know how to play that shit and fucking just bash that shit out? Or what do you, how do you prep for that shit? You just fucking start playing that shit? You just, you just play it and you win. So... How do you feel about being, you know, me and your life now is sort of it's change, um, and you're here to support your mom. You love your mom, and this is what's best for her. And it's what's best for me, and I think you know you've been really open and supportive of our relationship. So I just want to say thanks for being cool, and I love you, and I love the relationship that I know we're gonna have. Cool. So let's have a good wedding. This party, this is really just a party. So you fucking hook yourself up with a fucking bar, do shots, whatever you want. I know you're into that scene. So just chill. It's easy, you know, if you want to do some bullshit, whatever. I'm here for you. I'm your dad. So I could just cruise with you and we could do whatever. Okay. Let's hug it out like fucking whatever, right? All right, dude. Um, that's Matt. That's just Matt. That's who he is. All right. I thought that was pretty cool to kind of connect, Greg, to connect with him. Greg. He doesn't know anything about movies, so he shouldn't be on the show. I think you have to respect that there's, that I'm working on building relationships uh, yeah, but don't do it during family. the Oscars. And it's a family I haven't had. I haven't had support from well, you. You could have done that yesterday. One goddamn thing about congratulations. You're about to hit, get hitched in a real way. You're here for the big night. And, you know, it's disrespectful. It's disrespectful to have a wedding during the Oscars when people are busy watching the Oscars, which is most people's favorite night They can choose to the watch year. the Oscars or they can be with us here. That's their choice. No, because you tricked them and said that we were here to watch the Oscars and then you spring this wedding on people like you sprung it on me. All right, well. I thought this was all for then like you a can tribute. Pull, you can back out. You said out. we were going to do a tribute to wedding themed movies, and it's not at all. That's, that's what makes it exciting. It's a surprise. If you don't want to be here for the wedding, you can back out and get the fuck out of this studio because nobody wants you here. Um, but well, five to one people on, online and sending cards and things like that are in favor of more movie coverage and less weddings. So. All right. I just. Even the, even your even the Tim heads would like to hear about tonight's Oscars. This is a pretty I told, major Oscar ceremony. I've been giving Oscar updates ceremony. all the time. The, the, the uh, American Factory won Best Picture. So we're doing our due diligence, but we're also making it an exciting, memorable. Remember when Charles and Princess Charles and Diane, Princess Diane won? Uh, basically invented the idea of a televised wedding. That's what we're doing here. Yeah, we're but they didn't up. do it during the Academy Awards. They might have. Do you, I mean, they, why wouldn't they? Because people are people look forward to the Oscars all year, and they don't want to see your wedding. They want to see the awards being given. I think people are very happy for us. I don't. Do you want to talk about this uh, on the street segment you did? This uh, it's a wrap. Yes. Go do the. It's I'll a talk rap. to my camera here. Go ahead. You know what? Stay in the car. By the way, I don't want you coming out. You're not invited to the wedding. You stay in the car. You can roll your window up. That's your zone. I don't want you near my guests. I don't want you near the food. You're not getting any of the wedding food. 
and you can sit there and mope and watch your Oscars and look at your videotapes, but you're, you're not to leave the car until I tell you to. You're, you're, you're uh, banished to, the, to your VFA, mobile VFA. That's the news. But I do have a couple of things I need to show the camera where I'm going to have to get out of the car. Well, we'll, t we'll do that case and by case. And actually one of them, hey, one of them might actually work well at your wedding as something for the guests to do. Well, we're going to do this on a case by case they're basis. Arriving. Excuse me, we're going to do this on a case by case basis. For now, <laughs> you're banished to the car. Introduce your It's a Wrap segment. I took a look at it. It sucks. It's a good time for anybody to take, go take a shit or go get snacks from their kitchen or whatever. Show that now. We'll cut it out of the, the tape segment when we, when we put the tape stuff up later. This, but we have to go live now. This is a segment called Heaven on Earth. It's kind of a new segment that we're going to be doing uh, in the future on our cinema. This looks at sort of, um, I guess you'd call them historic uh, movie locations, but they're not filming locations. It's a whole other kind of location. This is something that if you're ever visiting Hollywood, I suggest you go see. Let's take a look at the segment. Hey guys, Greg Turkington with On Cinema at the Cinema. We're here in front of one of Hollywood's greatest locations. It's a wrap. This is the store where you can buy actual movie worn garments worn by great Hollywood stars ranging from Meg Ryan all the way up to Tom Hanks, and who knows, maybe they've got some Bogart inside. Let's go see. and welcome to our show. Tell me about It's a Wrap. Well, this is a very exciting store. We get all of the clothes from film and television production. So whatever you might see on a film or a TV show, it all ends up here on the racks at It's a Wrap and it's all really of it. cool. Is there something you can show us on the racks right now from a current movie that might get our viewers excited? Well, we can comb around. You can look right here. We have our list of all the different films and TV shows that we have for sale. segment so if you are in town come and uh, I said it's back a... hey and I've uh, got a message here from Mark uh, or not from Mark it's uh, a tip who's calling uh, hey Tim I'm still doing the it's a wrap thing so don't take calls I uh, know we're done with the it's a wrap no 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 I have set up this here here stand by which is... We want to get, let's just get some info on Mark. Where is Mark? You have a location on him? Oh, uh, yeah, I know where he is. Where is he? He's in Lynchburg, Virginia, at Jimmy John's. Okay, Hang we're, up. I don't know, that doesn't sound right. Uh, I definitely saw him there. All right, Hang shut up. up. Get out of here. So, to follow up on the It's a Wrap segment, <clears throat> I have here two very priceless uh, <laughs> ensembles, if you will from the movie Yesterday, 19, uh, 2019, uh, kind of a movie about some uh, Beatles fans and some strange kind of supernatural uh, events that bring them together. And these are actual uh, costumes from the movie that I procured at It's a Wrap uh, for total cost of $20. 
Here are, are the, uh, the shirts worn by a couple of the characters and the actual pants. You can see these on screen if you watch yesterday. Right. If you haven't seen it, I would suggest that you do go out and watch yesterday and yeah. look for these clothes. When you see them, it's on a remember plane. this I, I was moment. on a plane the other day. You can see it. Or they, they show that on the plane. Did you see right, the shirts? Like, no, I don't recognize the shirts. Uh, big, uh, the guests are arriving every second for the big Tony and Tim wedding, which is set to kick off in minutes. We're, we're still, Tony's still making some decisions. I got a couple dresses to choose from. Uh, don't sit down. I told you go back to your car. Get back in the car. My guest today, right now, we're going to bring him out here. He just arrived. My brother. I, I got my son. Now I got my brother. Is man, the car was good baby nice. right here. All you, right. Man. Good to see you, man. I got Look at this. For this. For what is this? I'm not supposed to be drinking at the uh, Oscar <laughs> special. What the hell? I'm so excited, man. I'm <laughs> so excited. I know, man. man. Well, listen. Let me just clear the air with you. We, you know... We had some trouble with the band. We had some rocky, yeah. you know, but that's how friends, that's how brothers, that's how shit goes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, we uh, are, you know, it's not personal. You know that. We've talked. Yeah. You have such an open mind and such an open heart about the whole situation. Axiom's another story. Well, you know. Axiom got hurt. He took it personally. I don't know why. But what's the perspective from, from your angle? Well, you're my brother, so mm -hmm. nothing, nothing's gonna change that. No. But you know, like, just are we gonna play music again in the future? Absolutely. We just have to figure it out. We got to get past where we're at right now. Well, that would be awesome. And, and uh, you know, the reason you know I called you basically this morning, and said um, I need you to come down here. <coughs> Don't do that. Don't do that again. The Joker strikes again. The Joker strikes again. You do that again, I'm going to come over there and physically assault you with this uh, champagne bomb. I'm going to break it over your stupid Joker face. You know, blood running down your skull. Now listen, I gave you the news. I, don't, I didn't tell anybody about it. I didn't tell him for sure. I told you. I said, tonight I'm going to uh, propose and marry Tony Newman again on the Oscar special. And the next thing that came out of my mouth, I think surprised, it knocked you down on the ground. I said, will you be my best man? And your answer was? My answer can only be, of course. That is what's beautiful about friendship, brotherhood, and Dakar. Dakar forever. forever man. That asshole so can stay in Dakar for all I care while we memorialize and remember the great times we had in Dakar, in DKR as well. Yes. Um, this is a lot of champagne. I want you to open it now because I think as best man and groom, we should bond over a drink. We should have a drink. I mean, That's listen, it. you know, it's my wedding. I can do that kind of shit because I got nerves. I'm so nervous. I can't believe it. Uh, tonight <laughs> is the big night, you know. Tony yeah. is not, you know, it's not necessarily going to be a white wedding even if we wear a white dress. Um, but who knows? So I'm nervous. I haven't met her parents. They're kind of going to be arriving. Of course, I have a great relationship with Matt. But listen, get this going. We need to have a drink and celebrate because it's on. Matt, Laura Dern Let's start a won party. for Marriage Story. So that's good luck for us. That's sort of a yes, a uh, blessing or sort of a message from Oscar, the Oscar gods, saying we bless see. and sanctify this wedding and this marriage. Get that open. Yeah. You brought the. Uh, Get that. Yeah, you got the... Yes. The, this is the classic way to do it. I think this might work better, yeah. Well, don't point it at me like that. No. All right. Let me get a... Something festive, the champagne music. Yeah, be careful there. Don't worry about the knife. Yeah. To you. you. Keep pointing that shit at me. Point at the car. Point at the Arthur poster. Let, let hit it, see if you can hit the Arthur poster. Ah, shit, you missed. All right. I can't hold this. 
Matt, hold that. Be careful with that, son. Don't grab it by the blade. Uh, this you, man. is to this is to my last, hopefully my last wedding ever. We're gonna say goodbye to uh, all the women I've loved before. This is to uh, my first wife, Stephanie, who is that's been 20 years or something. I don't even I've lost touch with her. I can't get her on Facebook or anything. And of course, the love of my life, the one that got away, Ayaka. I always love Ayaka, I always wish that that worked out. She was the mother of my second son, Tom Cruise Jr., so we we'll drink to him as well. That came out, that came out way too fast. Shit. <coughs> Excuse me. This is for Ayaka. And Tom Cruise Jr. My son, and uh, and some to and, you, and to me. Ooh, that's some good stuff. Um, yeah. Hang on. I want to ask you a favor. Sit down. Yes. I want to ask you to reach out to Axe because I have been working on him. He would have been my first choice for best man. You know that. That would have been the, the, this, the, the play that made the most sense in my mind. No offense to you, but he was really there from the beginning. It would have just been first, awkward. Yeah. I reached I out to him. He did not, he is not, he's kind of cut me off. And it's killing me. So I want you to do something as best man. You are the official best man. That's, nothing's going to change. But I want Axe to be here. I want him to be here for me. And I want him to be a groomsman or an usher. Because uh -oh. we we're actually short a lot of people. I was I reached out to a lot of people to be a part of this, and nobody wanted to do it on Oscar night. But <laughs> I spoke with him, you know, like it's what a, is his what is mad. his vibe? It, it's it's mad, you know. He's like still he mad. Got, got, ups, got upset He's just a little being bit a baby. about the situation. He He's got a little being upset a baby. But that. what you need to do is just take take a, take a minute. We don't have to do it All on right. the air. Let, let me let me see what I can do. Just reach out to him and say he's not because he's not picking up the phone when I call. Oh, Speaking not, of picking not. up the phone, while you're doing that, let's check in on Mark. I think LaRue's gonna have some good news for us. I feel it. Calling in from, oh, New I'm York. Calling, I'm calling right now. This could okay. be Woody Allen calling in. Hello? You have a tip for Mark. I don't know why you're not on speakerphone, of course, because this sucks. Wh what do you want? Axiom. What's, go ahead. What's, what's the tip? Hey, hey man, hey, man, you, you, you gotta be here, man. Team, team, team wants you here, man. Well, Tim, you know, like, it's like, like, big dead day, big day for him, you know, like, he's upset. I, you know, I don't you're have the here. fucking uh, way to do speaker, dude. Okay? It's... Hey, man, it's your brother, come on. You, you gotta be here for him, no matter what, you know? Yeah, 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 I'm here, man. Vieni, devi essere qua, man. Your tuo fratello. Axe, it's Tim. Just don't hang up. Don't hang up, baby. Okay, don't hang up. Let me just get to the bottom of this. I need you to be here, okay? I'm not, I'll tell you what, I'll cancel the fucking wedding if you don't show up. How about that? How about that on your fucking conscience? You want that? Play something while I'm talking. You just get your ass down here, man. Because it doesn't look good that he's here and you're not. I got uh, Tony's parents coming. And if they show up and they see there's one dude here from Italy, it just doesn't look good. Greg's sitting here dressed like the Joker. He looks like an idiot. So just come down and help me out, all right, man? I'll fucking give you 20 bucks, whatever. I'll give you 100 bucks. I just got to get you down here, man. I need bodies in the seats. Clear? Clear? All right, buddy. Thank you for th Just do it. I don't think... Just fuck this thinking about it. Just get down here. Man, Danny. Danny qua. All right. Give me this shit. <sighs> uh, that's gotta be cold. Next time, bring it cold. I can't do uh, warm champagne.
with more wedding news. We'll be back in a few minutes as we uh, begin the wedding ceremony. You're all invited to the high wedding of the century. We are back here at the 7th Annual On Cinema Oscar Special. I'm Tim Heidecker. We are obviously now, I almost want to throw away the Oscar Special concept because it is now the wedding of the century. Uh, the first live wedding that I think we've seen on television in a long time since Charles and Diana. Yes, absolutely. From England. Yeah. Um, quick update on the Oscar. Sound editing went to Ford versus Ferrari. I thought that would go that way. Yeah, it's a beautiful yeah. sound of room going around the track. <laughs> um, we are here with Tom Chaplin. I didn't get to introduce you. Tom Chaplin, founder of Chaplin's Chili. Uh, yes. Long time ago. Yes, yes, long time ago. Chaplin's Chili, that was, it was the most popular restaurant on the west side for a long time. Is that correct? Yes, yes. So the terrific news. Uh, well, you've, you've uh, of course, I, we don't want to get into the details of sort of the, uh, the shifting uh, taste that went on, the, the business, the changing of. Uh, well, it wasn't much. entirely mutual. It wasn't really my idea, even though I founded the place. And, you know, uh, there's a few people that forced me out. Okay. Uh, and uh, so I, I ran into some tough times. That's why I haven't seen you in a while. I know, but yeah, because well, we were dealing with the quick bite guys. Absolutely, uh, absolutely. Hank and, uh, you, I, mean, I want to bring up a bad Hank and I haven't good. really, um, we, we haven't stayed in contact I got much. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, but the uh, good news is you got this Catering business getting started. You just launched food Absolutely. man. Absolutely, and congratulations catering. on getting married, by Thank the way. Thank you very much. And just want to plug you guys here, which is yeah. sort of the deal. Yes, absolutely. Uh, you guys are providing all the food here. We are. And let's just take a quick look so the audience can get excited. And I know guests are starting to arrive. Right, they are. I see Joe and over there. And it's a food man's dream catering. I'm not here. allowed to use chaplains okay, anymore. So <laughs> The there we've got chicken. Yes. And I, this has got to be the salmon, right? No, no this, this is the green beans. This is the green beans. They're very healthy okay. for you. Very and delicious. Salmon's My over recipe. here. We talked about that's mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes. Salmon. We talked about a, a chicken and a salmon and then two vegetables. Uh, no salmon, Tim. I'm sorry. Uh, but this food is delicious. We have just people that don't eat chicken coming to the wedding, but that's all right. Well, it, well, the, the that's chicken, okay. We'll get the to. The chicken tastes like fish. The way I prepare it. That, that's not the point. Yes, it's yes. not the. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Tom Chaplin. The idea was that he would get uh, there'd be a chicken and there'd be a meat and a fish and a veggie option, not just green beans. I tell you what, this a little tip: you do get sh good champagne, you're not going to have. I, this stuff sucks, and it's going right to my head. I got a killer headache. It's like pounding. But anyway, um, Joe, just thanks. You're early, so just be patient. Uh, we're gonna bring out. Um, oh, big! So Tony Newman is. Uh, we just officially. 
uh, confirm that she is on board for the wedding. So she is now getting done up, getting her hair did. Um, we're going to check in on her now. Can we see? We got a live cam on Choni, Choni, uh, Tony Newman. And she's kind of getting, in, getting into that headspace. This is really happening, sweetheart. If she can hear me, we are walking down to ow. Oh. Good. Um, what I want to do now is, Joe, hold my mic. Sure. And we have to have a talk, too, Joe. I need to go over a bunch of shit with you. OK. There's a uh, real good reason why you're not my best man, I'll tell you that much. But I do want to get you in a, in a happy place. I want you to feel comfortable being here. You're my invited guest. I appreciate that. It's quite a surprise, I think, for all of us, Tim. Uh, well, that's, the, that's yeah. the beauty of it. Yeah. All right, I want to bring out probably the second most important woman in my life. Um, this woman has uh, been responsible for my spiritual growth over the past year, this rapid growth that's occurred. Um, I met her through Tony Newman. She is uh, the one and only um, uh, Susan Lewis, who is Reverend Pastor Susan Lewis. You want to come on out here? Pastor Susan Lewis is going to see you. Good to, oh, good to see you. Bless you, Dave. Bless you. See you too. <laughs> she, How exciting. Ms. Lewis is going to be uh, performing the wedding. You are the officiant, official officiant. I am indeed. I am. I'm just so excited. I know. I called you yesterday and said, I've got this insane idea. I got advice. I said, do you think Tony's going to go for this? And you said, I don't know. It's about 50-50 chance. But with you, yes. Yes. So she prayed on it. I prayed on it. We thought, the hell with it. Let's just throw it up there against the wall. And she said yes. I know. She is a lovely girl. She, I've known her for a number of years. Yeah, she's been telling me about this, this, all the ways you can incorporate the New Testament into sort of your your goals and focusing on how you can really reach that next level, not just spiritually, not just uh, sort of the Ten Commandments, but also just in uh, f wealth fulfillment and, and, and visualizing that goal you have, sort of financial security. That is a and, beautiful way to put it. Yeah. And I tell you, the more you give, the more blessings you receive. I love that. And that's one mm. of the things she says every Sunday. So you're going to be with us throughout the night running the ceremony. I am. Um, we're so excited. It's going to be a beautiful ceremony. I've seen, you've done a few weddings that I've been to. And oh, yes, really I have. Wonderful, and you must love doing it. I love doing it. Yeah. I love seeing beautiful people come together on yeah. a day like this and share their love with God. And what and a wonderful this. treat it is for me to marry a beautiful woman and get married by a beautiful woman, if I don't say so Aren't myself. You, sweet? So. <laughs> <laughs> you drink, I don't know, because I. No, you, I do not. You do not I drink. do not. I not anymore. Champagne. Not anymore. We should have a champagne cocktail. I might have to with you. Just a little bit, right? A little bit. Can we get a glass? I don't want to ask uh, Pastor Lewis to drink out of the bottle. That's disgusting. I've but done it before. Too. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just, because I, I, I don't want to make a big thing out of it. It's just, uh, it's my wedding day. And, oh, flutes. This oh, is perfect. Oh, isn't that lovely? Just Thank you. cheers to you. Just a tiny, just, tiny. Ah, that's that's good. enough. That's okay. Good. Well, we'll see what happens after you have a one, and then maybe we'll have two, and then three, and four. We'll see. Cheers. Thank Cheers. you for doing this. Oh, it is my deepest pleasure. There mm. you go. Oh, that sounds It's okay. It's, it's, it's a little room temp, and now that bubbles have I come like out. I like it. A little bit more. It, no, it's all right. I'm You're okay? Good. Okay. Yeah. Later. Pastor Lewis, um, I've been a bad boy. I've had too much of this stuff. I get a <laughs> headache. <laughs> anyway. Um, Thank you for sharing this day with me. You bet. And... Help you. We got great food from Chaplain's Chili here. That's great. And stay away from the Joker. He's a troublemaker. He's oh, a nice car yeah. Over he's there. got better makeup than me, though. I don't know. I don't know. He's <laughs> looks, I'm, a, I'm a little worried he's going to do something violent, you know, because like, he's been watching those Joker movies where he's shooting people and stabbing people and everything. So I think he has We a should actually keep character. an eye on him and may, maybe even ask him to go. Um, what are your favorite movies of the year? I actually really did like Joker. 
And I like Ford versus Ferrari. Just I've seen that three times the, already. Really? What you get? Yeah. You get uh, video on demand. Is that what you're telling me at the at the, uh, the services last weekend? That you do video VOD. If I have to, I will. I want to mm. see it, and I want to see it now. Right. I'm a fast girl. That's why I like those cars. <laughs> <You're fast. laughs> you better be careful what you say on the air. I know it's true. Because. I'm That's very honest. Little... I'm very open about myself. Mm -hmm. I don't hide things. No, no. Especially after a little champagne. No, I know. So I, know. I better not have any more. Okay. Right now, anyway. No, you, you have to be the responsible one because this is my sort of fun time. Uh, it's my night. You've made the big decision. I know. And I'm, you know, it, it is what it is. It is indeed. It is what it is. And, uh, you are it's a lucky, right call. lucky, so nice. She is a lovely girl. She is, and she, she's oh my so God. sweet. Oh my, oh my! I love yeah. being around her. Mm -hmm. Her energy is just—it's like an angel. Well, you. Uh, this was a couple weekends ago, and you, you came over, and we uh, were we had dinner. Invited you over for dinner, and she is a bit of a um, lightweight. She was working all day, and she went to bed. And the two, you and I just ended up staying up so late talking about music and movies and everything else and it was an honor that. to have you over thank you so much i love evenings like that mm -hmm. and you're welcome anytime you know uh, as mr and mrs Hadaker, i cannot wait mr and mrs this is the other big news i haven't even told tony yet is it's mr and mrs newman <gasps> i'm going to be taking her uh yeah don't tell her but i'm going to be taking her last name don't tell her ever no i would just oh, okay. i wouldn't be the one to tell her i mean i don't know if she's watching or anything but I am going to be I, taking the, I'll be Tim Newman after today, after the you paperwork are signs. You a very special man. I, I, you know, I'm just, I'm feeling this emotion and what you're doing for her. I can't. Well, what she's doing for me, it's mutual. So we're just so happy and I'm so happy you're here. Thank you. And, uh, yeah, me too. you've been really special. You've been really important in my life. I am just so the shit you grateful. tell me about. You know, almost that sort of self-help shit that takes things Tim, to the next. Yeah. I, I curse. But that's just because of the drinks. But anyway. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, we'll talk about that another time. Joe! Yeah. Get over here. Yeah. yeah. You're on. This is Joe oh. Estevez. Have you ever met Joe, Joe Estevez? Joe, what a pleasure. Hi, love. How are you? Nice, nice to meet wow, you. This kid has yeah. been in everything. You, he's been I hundreds of movies. I love your uh, work. Yeah. Here you go, Tim. A little something there for you. All right. Uh, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Rev, you better get back there I and get your work vows to do. ready. That's you got it. work to do. All right, give me a kiss. Thank you. And okay. Thanks okay. For okay. All right. I'll night, see night, you nice later, to Joe. meet you there, Rev. Nice to meet you. That's yeah. Not a bad looking lady. No, no, no. You know, preacher. Yeah. So, you're going to do this again, huh, Jim? All right. Well, this is not an yeah. uh, interview that you're that you're running. Uh, no. We mm -hmm. are. Mm -hmm. I've invited you here. Yeah. Yeah. I want to tell you something. It, it took me a lot to get to the place where I was going to invite you because of the way things ended. I want to say part of my process, the, the long talks I've had with uh, Pastor Lewis, she's encouraged me to forgive, and I want to forgive you. It's taken me a long time. I don't know if I'm there yet, but I want to say that we're on the road to forgiveness, and I'm glad you're here to be one of my honored guests at the wedding. Forgiveness has not occurred. Let's be clear about that. Well, I, I, I kind but of thought... we are on the road to forgiveness. Now go say hi to Greg, don't be rude. I, I thought we kind of cleared that up on yeah, the phone, but we're good. apparently you're still uh, holding some grudges, so. You know. I'm not holding hey, nothing. Hey, Greg, how you doing, buddy? <laughs> you look marvelous, darling. Look at this, what the, the Joker. Is this? Author is the theme now, huh? I've got the Oscars on here if you want to watch it. Oh my goodness, look at that. Yeah, you yeah. didn't sign the yeah. card, dude. Huh? Yeah. You didn't, you didn't sign the card, just so you know. Oh yeah, okay. It means a yeah. lot. Yeah, okay, I'll sign it, you know. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We'll get, when you get to it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. We'll be back. Glad you liked with it anyway. More Oscar coverage. You're the welcome. The yeah. Shut the fuck you're, up. You're welcome. I wouldn't sign yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Strings. Now.
Hey guys, we're here in the VFA Mobile Sound Studios, Soundstage, and it's also where we keep a lot of our uh, classic and priceless movie memorabilia, yes. as well as uh, the actual movies themselves. And uh, Christina here has got a very interesting tale to tell. Yeah. She actually was one of the uh, actors, one of the actors in Arthur. Yes. The, not the Dudley Moore one, though, I, I just found out, but the, yeah. uh, the one from... Uh, the well, remake nobody watched. The remake, which was actually released 30 years almost to the day from the original. Which really? Was 1981. And then 30 years later... 2011. 2011, so yeah. that's 30 days. Yeah. So if there had been a sequel and they wanted to time it like Arthur 2, which came out in 1988, the sequel should have come out in 2018. But they didn't do it, so there may not be a sequel. So in preparation for appearing in... The Arthur uh, remake. Yes. Did did the director ask you to watch the original Arthur? No. 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 Do, have you did you see the original Arthur? Yes. On your own. Yeah. And. I loved it because I remade the role of the prostitute. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you and did you study the character from the original one? Yeah. And was that that character also in Arthur Two: Love on the Rocks? No, well, I didn't see Arthur Two. Okay. Did you see Arthur too? I did see it, yeah. We actually have a copy it? over here in our Arthur Museum, which you should probably sign or uh, have your autograph Me? included in the Arthur Museum. Oh, my God. Um, what was your favorite experience um, working on Arthur? Did people, anybody from the movie uh, that had also been in the original Arthur, was there any sort of direct lineage? Like, was it the same director or the same writer? No, it Same was... running time? Um, I, I don't know. Did you see the remake? Yeah, I saw. I've seen. I've seen. Did most you like movies. it? Yeah, I thought it was great. I prefer. Do probably, you remember me? I haven't seen it in a little while, but I'm going to watch it again. I would say I probably prefer the Arthur's in the order in which they were made: Arthur 1981, yes. Arthur 2: Love on the Rocks, and then the Arthur remake. But yes, um, you know, when you watch movies multiple times, sometimes your opinions change. Yes. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um, were you a fan of Dudley Moore and did oh you see Oh my God, 10? fuck yes. Yeah. I didn't see 10, but mm -hmm. I love Dudley Moore. I feel like they, you know, nowadays they water down comedies. Mm -hmm. You know, if Dudley Moore, they really let him get drunk and really be like debaucher, like really get really crazy, you know? Oh. Really? Yeah, I just have a couple more questions. Tim? You just wrap mm -hmm. it up. I. We're doing. We're about to start the proceedings here. Okay, okay but I just have a couple more questions. And one more question. Oh, that's it. Is she ready? Is she ready? Um, was uh, the gonna walk uh, actor Russell down Brand the aisle? who played Arthur in the 2011 ahead, movie? Daughter. Was he drinking real alcohol or was it prop alcohol? First of all, you know what he would do? He would take liquor in a test tube and sniff it as his preparation for really? acting because he doesn't know what drunk is anymore. But, I mean... Dudley Moore, was that was a whole different thing. Yeah, he was really going for it. You know, not this pansy shit that Did they do. Did you see um, Ten with uh, uh, Bo, De and, uh, Bo Derek and Dudley Moore no. from uh, 1979? No, didn't That was actually it. the movie that Dudley did that sort of put him uh, as the lead... Oh, yeah, in, yeah, I heard you say uh, that. Arthur, yeah, because he was so good in 10, and 10 broke box office records. At that time, I think it was the biggest grossing comedy of all time. And so, uh, of course, you're going to use him instead of George Siegel, because George Siegel hadn't had a hit in a while. Huh. That's crazy. Well, this is going to be kind of, kind of your job, but I do want to acknowledge... There was uh, a wedding scene my, in... Uh, uh, Best man. Oh, there was a here wedding. Yeah. We're still waiting to hear from Arthur Axiom. Arthur he is. I mean, I'm talking about said the he's coming, but Arthur. you know, so he's thinking about but it. They didn't show it in the movies. Uh, I want to bring like Tom Cruise Jr. into the room with us. Well. He's oh, my nice. son. You haven't got a chance to meet him. That year, so. yeah. But he um, is my only son. Even though Arthur, and, uh, I think, won uh, a lot of No offense to you. Oh my God. Matt. So we had. We're still always going to be brothers, but always father and son. That's a bond that we'll always have. But, this year, but it will be next you know, we like lost Tom Cruise Jr. at a very young age. Oh, cool. But and then, um, thanks to sort Jaws of the magic of that. movies and CGI, really? we can uh, imagine oh, yeah. him you, with you us today. I'd like to and... oh, wait, this. believe that he's here with us.
Hey Dad, it's me, your son, Tom Cruise Jr. I just wanted to wish you all the best on this most sacred of days, your wedding day. I know that you and my new mom, Tony, will live a happy life for a long time. You're my hero and you've always been my hero. I know that things didn't work out with my mom and you. I think it is because she is selfish and she did not give you a chance and she did not let you be you. You'll always be my hero and I respect you more than anyone else I know. I love you, Dad, and I promise to keep acting and modeling in your name. Beautiful, doesn't she? Thank oh, you. Just takes Timmy. my breath away. <laughs> Dearly so beloved. Sit down. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here on this beautiful day to witness the union of Timothy Richard Haddocker and Tony Joy. <laughs> this is a day of great celebration for a married life. A shared life is a great blessing. As Tim and Tony embark on their journey, together they will be able to nurture a love that makes them better versions of themselves. Marriage is a garden that we sow with love and harvest in personal growth. Tim, Tony... On your journey together, keep your spouse in the space in your heart. The love that you share must be guarded and cherished forever, for it is your most valuable treasure. Love, always, remem always remember these words. Love is kind. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. We should, you Joe, or do you want to, do you want to hold this the whole time? I'm no, not sure what's just the give it to my father, okay, Tim. Okay, sorry about that. I thought, no, you get that at the end and then whew, goes. Wait, you got those for me. I, I know, I'm just, I didn't. Trying to make you happy. You seemed like love you were comfortable patient. holding. Let's hold hands. Love is patient. I'm so nervous. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> You've done it twice. <laughs> <laughs> love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful or proud or rude. And it keeps <laughs> no record of being wronged. It does not rejoice about injustice, but rejoices wherever the truth wins out. Okay. Love never gives up, never loses faith. It is always hopeful and endures through every <clears throat> circumstance. Mm. Now, you have chosen to write your own vows. Yes. And it is with these words that you express your binding promises yes. to love honor and cherish one another. And if you're ready to make these promises, I invite um, you now to yes, these, declare I've, your intentions. I've, uh, sorry, everything's been going so fast. Um, I do have vows that I've written for are these, us. Are these my vows? Yeah, that's yours and these are my, this is mine. I'll go first. <laughs> I never thought that I could meet someone like you. You are my friend. You are my smile. You are my everything. You are a breathtaking reflection of God's heart for me. 
of how he pursued me and loved me even when I didn't love myself. You held my hand in the darkness and you pulled me out into the light. I love you. Mm. You are my light. And it doesn't matter what, I can't read it without my glasses, honey. Oh. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Joe. I really appreciate that. So kind of you to write my vows for me, Tim. Mm -hmm. Oh, here we go. You are you my are light. My, so I can read it too. And it doesn't matter what happens in this life. Doesn't matter what life. happens in this life. You got because it. as you're with me, and when I look at you, I know that there's a God and that he loved me so much that he took the time to create you just for me. Isn't that nice? And I love you, and I love your soul. Mm -hmm. And that's the space where only you and, and God, God dwell. dwell. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> now you're into it, I can tell. I am you're into it. You're very nervous, you yeah. do not want to do this. <laughs> um, but I think you're appreciating it. Oh, the glasses. Did I? No, you're good. Joe, thank you. I don't know why you have women's glasses. <laughs> okay. So, Tim. Uh, I kind of maybe thought this was going to happen. Did you? Are you ready to place the ring on Tony's finger? Here's the rub. We got the rings on already because oh I forgot about that part of it. We already have rings because we already got married, but we got them annulled. So now we have to. New rings. I don't think we have new rings. Did you get nothing? You didn't buy me a new ring? No, we'll just use these for now. We'll get rings sure. later. So okay, just honey. Skip that part. Yeah, rings. that's not the important put the, thing. Just put that back on. You just place that maybe back on her finger. Okay. Place that on Tony's finger. Thank you, honey. Aww. By the power given to me by the American Marriage Ministries and the state of California, I now pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, may I be the first to introduce you to Mr. and Mrs. Heidecker. No, 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 this is the, this is the big surprise. Sorry. Cut, cut the music. I, this is, an, sorry I keep throwing these curveballs at you, but I have decided to change my name to Newman. You're not Mrs. Heidecker, you are, I am Mr. Newman. So that is my gift to you, my big gift to you. I'm... I'm yours forever, and we'll take care of the paperwork, legal stuff. But so we'll have to do a new prenup. No, well, that's. <laughs> You're changing your name to your wife's name. Mr. Newman. Yes. Uh, Tim, Tim Newman. Newman. So, should we screw. Uh, do the thing down the aisle. <clears throat> that before in my life. Tell me about yourself. You mean why I'm a hooker? Are you a hooker? Jesus, I forgot. I, I just thought I was...
So we're here with Dudley Moore, or at least the world's greatest Dudley Moore impersonator. Well, I don't like to say I'm the, I'm the world's greatest, but perhaps in my price range in the tri-state area, I'm among among the most sought after, I would say. When you impersonate, do you aim to impersonate Dudley Moore or Dudley Moore as Arthur? Dudley Moore, because he's brilliant, you know. He started out as a, as a jazz pianist. Let me do a little bit of my Dudley right okay. now. Okay. All right. We don't have a piano in the they, BFA, but no, that's okay. No, no, but, you know, I started out, I know much more about art than anybody on the floor, any of you, because I started out as a classical musician. I'm a classical musician at heart, and they told me you couldn't play jazz, Arthur. Well, they didn't, they liked to call me Arthur back then, I might mention. I became a jazz musician. They said, you'll never be a comedian, you're not funny. They said, you got a club foot, you know? So I became a comedian, and they said, you'll never be an actor. I became an actor. They said, you'll never be a star. I became a star. They said, you'll never be a sex symbol. I became a sex symbol. You know what? And my career went straight into the toilet after that, I must say. Well, not right after that, because you did 10, and that's what uh, well, I did careened first. you to the top. No, and then no, Arthur no, was no, also I, big, too, but then no, it was no. after that that things started to decline no, I, a little bit. I, 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 we did 10 first, mm -hmm. and then we did Arthur. Mm -hmm. And I did a bunch of crap, and then I played I played an elf in Santa Claus. You know, Can you do, but, uh, as Dudley Moore, this is something I think our viewers would like, a classic routine like who's on first, but as Dudley Moore would do it? <laughs> well, I don't know. I can give it a try. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, who's on first? Who's on? No, no. Uh, uh, what's on first? Who's on second? Oh, but I thought what was uh, the third No, base? no. I thought what's a short stop, you see? Uh, I don't know. I think no, uh, I don't know. who's the third base. Okay. <laughs> Well, um, I think uh, who is the is uh, the catcher? No, no, who's at the Hollywood Bowl? Right, right, <laughs> right. I think that was Liza Minnelli that was at the Hollywood Bowl. Liza Minnelli, your co-star, you your co-star. Uh, she's a very sweet person. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. We used to we used to milk each other's cows. You know, she's okay. got a farm. She, she's still around. You know, I've been dead for 18 years. You know? <laughs> yeah, you probably hour. don't. You know, it, it does affect one's larynx so much. So, you know? <laughs> so well, what did you die Anybody? From, well, Larue. I had a, it was neuro. What's up, dude? Psychic. What you got? Hazy, you see, and Hold no on a minute. There's no cue. Well, it I can't hear you, dude. Are you, are we what? I got it right now. Well, I don't know about that. You got Mark? Have you seen the neighborhood? I had to park way way over the place on Washington. Greg, shut up! Hey! Hey! Shut up! Shut up! Big announcement, hey. Mark. We um, Lou uh, Lou got has Greg. Lou 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 has uh, Greg has Mark. Lou, hey. get that asshole out! Of, get him out! He's not invited to my wedding. Get him out! Get him hey. out! I've never Get seen out. anybody quite Get so bad. Get the fuck out! Tim. You walk. Oh, Tim. You're coming. You walk. You're certainly very beige. Excuse me? Hey. Get him out. Get him out. Yes, so it's very hard to conduct we, interviews we, with the camera. Yeah, I can see that. Like I don't this. want this car at my wedding. I'm crazy. Tim, calm down. I get rage Calm problems. down, Tim. Calm. It's okay. Well, you would know anything about that. We have good that. news. You know everything about that because it's Dudley Moore. It's just it's our wedding. Calm down. Don't get upset. <laughs> Joe, I can't <laughs> hear your voice right now. I have a what, what, head. There's like jackhammers going on right now. Yeah, me too. Oh. And Maybe a little too much champagne or something. The good news is... Joe, the good news is we found Mark. We found Mark. Is he, is he, is he, is he, is he coming or is he coming over or what? What? Is, is LaRue bringing Get him the fuck out! Tim. Get him out! It's our wedding. Oh my God, Tim. Do your interviews. Hey, I'm going to break this fucking window in. Hey! Oh, he's going crazy. I'm gonna break this fucking window in. It's a, it's a champagne. It, 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 Tim, well, Tim, he's, Tim. He's had too much him, to drink. I don't, want him in there. I don't want you near my wedding. I don't want you near my friends. Wedding? Get out of here! Oh, just I guess Tim. I get out of here. Get out! He's had too he's much coming. to hey, drink. Tim, oh, it's your wedding you day. My, Come on, Tim. Tim. My, Tim. Oh, there we go. Tim. You should be at my wedding. You're hey, my I oldest brought, friend. I got a present for You're you. You're my oldest friend. Sit Tim, Tim, I got a present. Mr. Newman, I apologize. This has been 
uh, a big misunderstanding. Thank he was at Dudley Moore. Walk. Don't go, don't go this way. I'll pop you. I'll I, pop you. Walk the, no, you go out that way. There's no way. I don't give a shit. There's you no figure possible. it out. Yeah, you, walk. Right. you walk. You walk. Hey, Tim. 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 I'm sorry. He, he was not supposed to be at the wedding. I apologize, Mr. Uh, he says Dower Dowerty on here. Was that, that's, that's a mistake. There, that's my maiden name. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Tony, I've got a present for you. Oh. Wedding present, Tim. Oh, thank I got you. I a present for you. Thank you. Greg. Mm -hmm. I hope you like it. You know what, I'm... That's just everyone chill out. Are you are you calm now, Tim? Yeah, it's just I have good news, and you don't—he doesn't care about Mark. But it's our wedding. You're I know, but Mark crazy is crazy again. Give me that. You don't—we don't need that. <laughs> Junk. Thanks, Greg. I'm beginning not to feel so good myself. <sighs> Did you guys spike the? <sighs> this chicken's awful. It's like eating a uh, racquetball. You know, a racquetball bounces off the wall. I thought he was a, a special chef. I guess he does. All right, is that who we hired for this, or you brought somebody? He's, this is all free. Oh, it's free? I don't that Can I have some more alcohol, yeah, Tim? Stick, no. I need to drink a little bit more, I think. <laughs> <laughs> we should get a bottle of red wine for him. Uh, yes. Greg, you want some? Let's watch get some, some wine. Uh, Where's the red wine? Where's, Where's the red wine? I get mm -hmm. it. I get it. Uh, food ban. To, uh, Mr. Tom Chaplin, you get some red wine over here. The bartender, get the bartender and bring some red wine over here. Whoa. Oh. Here you go. Manuel. Well. Here. First, let's do the dance. Is that red wine? Yes, sir. Yum. I Can I have oh, some? Get the. Uh, yeah, he wasn't very nice. <sighs> get the no, music going. We no. need some music. I, I want to toast to you, Tim. You handsome yeah. son of a gun. He's mm. tired. Mm. He was very mm. tired. Come on, we'll go to the first dance. I don't care what I got here, but. Mm. Oh, hold on a minute mm. now. Maybe it's mm. I gotta get yeah. you to toast me. You're my best man. Uh. You deserve. I deserve a toast from you. Yeah. Get it on the mic and toast me, mm. and then we'll get toast from everybody else. Mom and Dad. <laughs> Sit down. Yes, honey. My you know, son's here. Get, I, it, get it together, Manuel. Give me something good. You, you know, like man, a, baby. Give me a home run. You have no idea how happy I, I am to be here. And it's like, you know, you're my brother. You've always been there for me. And be here to you to celebrate this special day for me. It's like some. I'm like so happy about that. And I wish you the best as a brother. And I wish you, Tony, as well, the best like yeah. in life. Thank you, Cheers. Joe. Thank you. You're up. Cheers. Well, you, you know, I, I just, you know, Cheers. toast you to brighter days. You know, you you got that uh, murder trial behind you. And, you know that uh, American, uh, oh. uh, Mr. America. It's okay. Where, you know, I, you know, I thought they they treated you pretty bad in that, but well, now. You know, you got all that bad news behind you, and maybe uh, there'll be some uh, some better days in the future for uh, Mr. and Mrs. Uh, uh, Tim Newman here. Newman. To the, to the, Newman. To the Newman. To the, to the Newmans. <laughs> Newman. Greg, Greg uh, Turkington's up next. When I first heard that that uh, Tim was getting married, okay. my first thought was, "Oh God, you devil!" Uh, but clearly. Uh, with Tim, he'd never say never again. And I'm glad that for Tony, diamonds are forever. So I'm glad that the Lord of the Rings showed up to give the rings to both of you uh, so that you could uh, enjoy this uh, night of Oscar gold. So let's get back to the Oscar coverage. I believe that the best picture is up in about 10 minutes. Uh, here, here. I'm Tim's here. favorite wife too, <laughs> right Tim? <laughs> Right, Tim? Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, Certainly the most recent. What about Matt? What do you guys say, man? <laughs> Matt. Or your mom, whatever. Mom. I haven't seen you in a while, Matt. Matt, what Come over, give me a kiss and a hug, Matt. Matt doesn't want to talk right now. Okay, no. ma'am, why don't you get up and say some nice shit about me? Diane. 
Mommy. Darling, I thought I would never see this day come mm. after the last disaster of a wedding. But anyway, this is going to be a great wedding. Tim is a wonderful man, and we're all going to live happily ever after. Uh, Thank you. Thanks, Mama. Thank you. Diane. Yeah. Yeah. Diane, my mama. I call you mummy. <laughs> what do you got to say for yourself, dude? Father of the bride, Come Steve Martin on, asshole. Charles, Charles, daddy. Tim and Tony, we're very proud of you. And I can see it in your eyes that you're very much in love. And that's what really counts. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're here. You're here. Right. Pass yeah, the champagne. Man. Pass for... the champagne normally, down. Normally, normally, if Father of the Bride picks up the tab. <laughs> I thought you were picking. Oh, wait, you need. You didn't Hold organize on. the. I got something from Larue coming in. He's here. Larue. I can't get this. Larue. We got Mark. We found Mark. This is not. Oh yeah. Hold on, we got. Pope, this is a video about our love. There we go. Wake up with you holding me tight. Open up my eyes and see the light. Talk about the dream you had last night. Take a breath from a busy, busy life. Take a walk with me. With your hand in mine Let's spend today together Won't trust you And I'll follow you When you change direction You'll make up a song Cause we both agree It seems today was Made for you and I And it feels like sunshine Thank you very much to the Heidecker String Quartet. Rocking all night long. Newman String Quartet. That's, no. Newman, that's right, Joe. The Newman String Quartet. Got to change the p pavement schedule on that. This is the Tim Heidecker, Tim oh. Newman, Loom, Tim Newman, Heide, to our <laughs> wedding. Sorry. <laughs> We've had a little champagne. Mm. But the good news is mm. Bong Boon. Hong Bong uh, Parasite one be whatever that movie I warned you all about. That's how they get in yeah. American culture. This is, I warned you at the beginning of the show that we are in trouble. Timmy, you're spilling your booze. That. Let me tell you something. We are here to have a wedding though. We already did the deed. It's now time to get up and do the dance. Mm. Where's a... <sighs> My pastor. I want to dance with her next. But come on, you get you up first. What? All right, come on now. You're not dancing. Give me a little bit them. of that uh, empty bottle, baby. Come I'm on. honored. Get up. You going the wrong way, Tim? Sorry. Let's see. Let's see. <sighs> 
Oh. Oh. Wow, I'm so. Are you feeling okay? Yeah. Tim. <coughs> oh, Timmy. Oh, my God. <sighs> oh, my God. Right here, right here. Come in. We have found Mark, everybody. Greg, look. I'm not, I'm not, Mark's here. I'm not bad. What, what's Got him right here. Come on in. Bring him in, man. Bring him in. Come on. We have returned with Mark Paul's post. I'm not, I'm not here Mark. he is. I'm not, I'm not. I keep telling you, I'm not Mark. You look like Mark. You uh, are good looking, like bald, like freak. Like Mark to me. Uh, Here's Mark. What's the deal? What's Mark. My name's Steve. Okay. What the fuck? Mark got am amnesia, thinks he's Steve. Sit down, Mark. We're having a wedding. Yeah. You... What's this thing right here? Yeah. What do you mean? No, it's not Mark. It's not Mark. It's not Mark. 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 See, well, he turned See? his head, so. See? Yeah. Maybe the answer to Mark. Maybe the answer when I called you. You were yelling at me. Maybe I don't know. Well, you yelled looked at me. At me I you tried to run away. You tried to run away. You tried to run away as soon as you saw me. Oh. I have a, you want to see my driver's license? Look, look. Just not what are you doing just here, dude? Off. Why are you here? I'm not. I, I, he made me come here. What do you mean he made you come here? I'm not Mark. I don't know who Mark is. I don't know who you are. I don't know. There's why a wedding. Is, why do you I'm not even dressed right. Why did you come here? He's not right in the head. He's not all the way there. I'm sorry. Am I. Interrupting your wedding. I'm, yeah. I'm, yeah, I don't. I'm. Look, you guys are upset. You guys are upset. Skid Row. Skid Row. All right, get him out of here, LaRue. Send him out. I don't want to see that guy. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Here. Come on. Let's get the fuck out of here. Get, I don't need Come on. this. Can I? Come on. Here. It's not Mark. It's not Mark. It's not Mark. It's not Mark. I think that was Mark. It's not Mark. He did answer to Mark when I called his name. It's definitely not Mark. I'm just saying he did answer to Mark. Well, Daddy, yeah, it's, not, it's not Mark. Father, daughter, dance. Yeah, Daddy, come on. Let's dance. If you were Mark, you'd want to hang out on Skid Row. Can we get I music, know. Tim? We need music. I guess I'll see. Sleepy. I'm sleepy, yeah. <laughs> I'll just have a little more champagne, actually. I'm probably doing better than I feel like I'm about to sleep. Go to sleep. Are you tired? Something is just wrong. Uh, okay, why don't you go sit? Yes, go sit. Yes, come sit down. I gotta just close my eyes for a minute. You good? How are you feeling?